when we get to the point in which we will create some master records of assets, uh, you will realize that exactly as, as it happens in the real world with, with um, employees that create master records of assets, we will just create them very quickly because we can only set up uh, pretty much the mandatory fields, for example, the description and assign a valid cost center. And that's that's actually pretty much it. We, we can just save it. So it's going to be super fast. Uh, this again has to do with the customizing of the asset class. Actually, maybe for a particular asset class, we might need to enter other uh, uh, data in some other fields. But what's important to consider is, uh, uh, and, and just to, to understand, is that um, some things, some some uh, parameters and some values, uh, we don't need to type that. We can just trust in the default values that a, a, the system will propose for those values. For example, the, the, the best example would be just the useful life. So as you know, use, the useful life is something super important. It's, it's one of the main things that we uh, think when we are uh, talking about um, fixed assets. And it has deep consequences in the uh, uh, calculation of depreciation, just overall control of the assets. And again, uh, when we create the master records, sometimes we can just ignore those fields. We can just continue and save the asset. But why is that? Well, because as I have been saying, the system will propose some default values. So again, this is, of course, it's not like happening just by magic we need to set the correct default values for each asset class in and each depreciation area in the customizing. So that is what we want to show in this lesson. And well, interestingly enough, it's not in the data master data section. It's available more uh, well in another section, which is just the section for a uh, general valuation. So let's open financial accounting. And of course, asset accounting. Because as we have been saying, the uh, path here, uh, uh, it's inside, uh, well, the transaction is inside the general valuation path. So let's open that. And here we have the transaction, determine the depreciation area values uh, for the asset classes. So, well, let's ex uh, execute this uh, customizing transaction. And well, at first, of course, we have a list of all the asset classes uh, that have been set up in this uh, server but we want to start exploring and we will for that we will use uh, uh, as an example the machinery and equipment so let's select uh, 2000 and then we can just double click uh, on the left hand side the depreciation areas sub step so as you can see we have a list of all the the, um, the depreciation areas that have been set up for this chart of depreciation, the one that we created copying one of the standard charts. And uh, well, the, the thing that we want you to focus your attention is probably more in these fields, which are white, because we can modify even the values. Actually, we already have some values set up here, but we could modify them if we wanted uh, to, to have different, for example, useful life. Because as you can see, we have 10 years, uh, and that is for the a local gap in local currency, a depreciation area. Maybe we, I mean, we also have 10 for the local gap in a group currency and for some other of the depreci depreciation areas. But for other depreciation areas, for example, uh, 20, uh, the depreciation, uh, depreciation area 20, we have eight. And for 32, 32, we have eight as well. And the last two also eight. So the, that's the point. We can have different default values for example, for the, the useful life, or for the layout, uh, uh, for the for the um, uh, fields to control again if it's mandatory, optional, or suppressed, or even just display, and uh, we can control all all of this with these um, uh, values that we enter here. And a good example is uh, the appreciation area twenty. Because as you can see, well, we have a different value. We have only eight. Because of course, this area has to do with internal, just management accounting, just uh, what we also call controlling CO. And as you know, well, it's it's uh, we call this as internal because we don't have to comply with any external uh, requirements. That just means we don't need to comply with any accounting principles such as IFRS or with the US GAAP or with other uh, local uh, gaps that we might have in the, some of the countries we uh, have operations. Uh, but we also we don't have to comply with anything legal. So we just want to have a different value there and we set up that as eight, for example. Also, what's important, uh, really important actually, is the depreciation key. 
that we will cover a bit more of course when we get to the uh, just the running the depreciation checking some more things there but what's important for you to realize is for example all the depreciation areas here have the same depreciation key which is link k uh, but uh, or except uh, 20 the the depreciation area 20 because again it's internal and we might want to calculate the uh, depreciation a bit differently for that particular depreciation area. So that is the reason maybe we have these differences, we have different useful life, different depreciation key. But again, the main thing we want you to uh, take from this uh, screen, from this lesson is that the values we enter here, and again, this is customizing of course, will have a direct impact in the day-to-day -day operations of the uh, employees uh, because these values will be just defaulted by the system uh, as soon as as soon as uh, an employee is well, uh, creating, for example, a a new uh, master record, then uh, um, these values will be just defaulted by the system. Um, well, just to compare, we'll like go back here, and we will um, now open the details for the building asset class. So we can select that, and we then just double click the. Um, the details here on the uh, left hand side, the depreciation area details. And as you can see, we have the, now we have the, uh, the details for the asset class for buildings. The difference is like immediate, we, we see a, 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 a difference that strikes us right away, which is the useful life. Well, first of all, the useful life is much longer. It's 50 years, but I mean, that makes sense. These are buildings. But what's important uh, also for us to notice is we have 50 for all the uh, uh, depreciation areas. That is something different from uh, if we compare that to the other asset class, the, the, the one that we were checking in some... Uh, some minutes ago and also well we have some other uh, depreciation keys uh, for example we have the GD50 which is more suitable for um, the calculation uh, for uh, the depreciation for buildings for example and again the uh, depreciation area 20 it's the outlier <laughs> yeah, I mean it's like the most uh, different one because it has a different uh, depreciation key some others also have the lean five but the first one that calls our attention is the cost accounting depreciation area now what you also need to understand is that um, these values will be defaulted when we create the master records of for example of a building so every time we create a new building we will have as a default value we'll have 50 years as useful life but we might have some particular special uh, uh, buildings uh, for those uh, we might want a different value so if that happens if that is true then uh, the user can just uh, uh, go to the uh, tab in the in the screen because we have a special tab for all of this and just uh, the, the value will be there will be 50 uh, then we can just erase that the, the end user can just erase that and enter maybe 30 for example for a particular building in which we want a shorter useful life so the system will never uh, get in our way actually or, or the way of, of employees actually it will just uh, try to help employees as much as possible and that is the reason we call this just, just as the default values and uh, well uh, if we want the default value we just accept that value we don't modify anything but if we need or we want to have a different value we can just replace the the proposed value and enter our own so well with this we are uh, just finishing this this lesson and of course it will have a greater impact when we are uh, running the uh, creation of the master records so of course we thank you for uh, want to thank you for your attention and invite you to check those other uh, lessons so thank you again